There we go. You got it? Got it. Okay, perfect. Well, like I said this morning, um, we're gonna go over your supplemental retirement plan um, for Calhoun City Schools. And um, I wanna just introduce myself. My name is Amy Mulvane. I am an account executive at, Re at Arista Consulting Group. And I am one of the account executives over your plan at Calhoun City. Today, I have Toby Anderson with me. He is our wonderful financial planner, and he is going to be a person that you're going to want to have his name and number because he's going to be able to help you with all the different financial um, needs that you have that come up in your life, not just retirement, but anything else that you may have pop up your way. You have free access to him, and he's happy to help. Um, our mission at Arista is to help lead you to financial security. That's what we're passionate about. And we believe that the supplemental retirement plan is just one of the benefits that you have um, available to you to help you along that pathway. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to talk just a little bit about the baby steps to financial wellness, um, things that we believe are important to get yourself financially healthy so you can contribute more to your retirement plan. Toby, you want to go through these steps with them? Yeah. So, um, you know, you, so some of this is probably very familiar, but you know, when I'm, when I'm speaking with people, this is kind of, you know, gauging depending on where they're at in their, in their life and their, um, their savviness toward, you know, their finances and what they're doing. But, you know, these are just a few of the things that I encourage people to, to try to make sure that they've got, you know, as the first steps to, planning toward retirement, you know, having some, some, uh, you know, emergency fund money set aside, you know, um, you know, younger people these days have probably a different definition of emergency fund. Uh, Black Friday is not the definition of time to use my emergency fund coming up. It's, it's more for true, true emergencies. Your car breaks down, the, the, the dishwasher blows up or whatever. Um, and then it's just really, you know, encouraging people to, to get out of debt. Um, you know, starting with their, you know, line, this is a Dave Ramsey thing right here, the debt snowball, you know, like you got two or three different credit cards, take the one that's got the smallest balance on it first and, and pay that off and then roll it onto the next one and, and keep going and, you know, try not to incur any, any more as you're going. Um, and, you know, what I, what I t try to do is correlate that along with the saving for retirement. You know, I really try to encourage people that every time you make a, a significant step in paying off something, Use a portion of that money that now becomes available to help save toward, you know, toward your retirement. You know, if you pay off something that was costing you a couple hundred bucks a month to, to pay off, you know, once you're done, take a take half of that amount and start, you know, increase your contribution to your, to your 403B plan. You know, if you were doing 5% and now you paid off some debt, bump it up to 6%. You know, I've never, I've never had a client that, you know, that I met with when they retired and they were upset because they saved too much money, right? I mean, it's always, it's always the opposite. So, you know, I just encourage people to look for every chance they can to increase, to increase the amount that they're contributing to their retirement plan, to, to, to be aware of it. Um, you know, college funding certainly comes in when you've got kids and something to start, you know, thinking about. We all know how expensive that stuff is. I've got, I've got three teenagers in the house right now. You know, I've got a 16-year-old and I got twins that are in eighth grade. So, you know, that's going to be, be a that's going to be a big one coming up for me in a while. Amy's got four kids herself, so you know we're, we're we are all well aware of the cost of, of college. So it's really just you know encouraging people to to have a plan, um, and that that's you know one of the things that I, I love doing. I, you know I'll spend as much time with a you know twenty five year old who, who's in a you know in their first or second year of teaching, just trying to figure out how to do a budget. Uh, you know as I will as I will with the person that's you know, finally hit their 30 years of teaching and is ready to retire and, and right off into the sunset and wants to make sure they got the plan in place to do that. So, you know, these are just a few of the, the steps we encourage people to think about, you know, just to not, not go through, you know, 20 years, not paying any attention to these things, you know, and hope that hope they're going to get where they want to when it's time to, when it's time to retire, because that's not, the, that is not the, the best plan to have is, is hoping it all works out. Yeah, that's a great point. At Calhoun City, you guys are automatically enrolled in the supplemental retirement plan at 1%. Um, but this is the thing. I love showing this slide because I'm a visual person and it really just helps bring it home. A lot of um, new educators or people that are new to working with the school system, 
they understand the great benefit of having TRS, but they really have this false sense of security that TRS and social security is enough. But what we want people to understand is really the design um, of the supplemental retirement plan. And that is to help replace this retirement gap that you see here on the screen. So when you um, start out working and you work through, hopefully the longer you work, hopefully your paycheck goes up. But we all know that as our paycheck goes up, we all often start spending more, right? So when we go into retirement, we're making the most money we've pretty much ever made, and we're also spending the most money. So to replace that income, that requires a plan. And TRS and Social Security won't be enough. It'll be important to be saving in the supplemental retirement plan so you can fill that retirement gap and have the choices that you wanna have in retirement. If you wanna retire and then go back to work part-time, we wanna make sure that that's what you choose to do and not something that you feel like you have to do. So starting out by saving a little bit in the beginning over time and consistently is really the best plan. And that's what makes the biggest difference is investing consistently over time. So this is just a basic savings chart that kind of correlates with your years of TRS. So you can see that if you're under the age of 30 and you start out just with that automatic enrollment of 1% and you keep that consistently invested in your supplemental retirement plan. Now keep in mind, that's not taking money out um, whenever you know you have a withdrawal event or a hardship, it's keeping it invested consistently. You can see where that 1% will really work for you and be enough if you're younger. But if you're like me and you fall in that 45 to 49 age bracket there, if I was just starting out in the school system, you would see that I'm in the red and that 1% isn't gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to up my contribution closer to 15% and do that more aggressively over my years at the school system to really be able to put myself in the position of retirement. So again, this is um, where Toby can really come in and help you guys, and we're gonna make sure that everyone has his information. If you're um, confused and you really don't know how much you should be contributing to reach your retirement goals, we wanna help you with that. So you're starting out at that 1%, you're automatically enrolled, but keep in mind with this plan at any time, you can change your contribution. So like Toby said, if you find some extra money, you've paid off some debt, um, you've just changed your budget around, you can change that contribution and up it at any time. And then if something happens and you've maybe got some extra bills and you can't afford that higher contribution, you can then lower it as well. Couple of things um, about retirement. You know, we know that there's a direct correlation between the financial wellness of teachers and student achievement. We want um, teachers that are engaged, and we know Calhoun City is passionate about that. And we don't want people um, to mentally quit before they can actually retire. We want to make sure that they can retire when they want to, so they stay engaged with their student population. We also know that state pension plans are always under the microscope, making it more difficult for teachers to retire. One of the greatest benefits, um, besides making a difference in a child's life, is um, having that pension available to teachers. But we know that that's always being looked at. They're always looking at ways to um, save money and to save that budget. So that's why it makes a supplemental retirement plan even more important. And at Arista, we highly value um, the teacher workforce, and we understand the challenges that you guys are facing every year, and we're equipped to help you navigate through those challenges. Especially this year. <laughs> that's right. 2020 has brought a lot of unexpected road bumps, that's for sure. Um, just a couple of details about your plan. Pre-tax dollars can be saved in the 403B and or the 457 plan. You can also do post-tax dollars, which is called a Roth account, if that's what you prefer. Um, contributions will be deducted directly from your paycheck and they'll go directly into your new Empower account, which is now your preferred vendor. And the 2020 IRS savings limits are going to stay the same for 2021. So you can actually save $19,500 
per year in each account. So what that means, if you're working just to save for retirement, which we know is not the norm, but there is a few people that fall into that category, you can have a 403B account and a 457 account, and you can max out both plans at $19,500 a piece to save a total of $39,000 per year. If you're over the age of 50, you're eligible for an additional $6,500 in both plans, which is part of the catch-up clause. And again, these limits do change year to year, but the IRS has already announced that for 2021, they're keeping these limits the same. Loans and distributions are available from this plan if you were to have an emergency and need to access the funds. Obviously for hardship distributions is subject to what the IRS deems to be a qualified hardship. It's not up to ARISTA to decide um, if, if why you need the money is a hardship, the IRS mandates that. And then you can um, do rollovers from other retirement accounts into this plan. So if you've transferred from another school system and you have a 403B or a 457, you can consolidate and roll that money into Empower and have just one account. All right, so I know many people have the question, why Empower? Why, why has Calhoun City chosen to make the change from ballot to Empower? Basically, it comes down to this. Lower fees means more money in your retirement pocket. And part of our duty at Arista is to constantly be benchmarking the fees out in the industry to make sure your school system is paying what's in line um, to be lower fees. And there's also low cost mutual funds for investing. So you're gonna see a more robust fund lineup that's gonna have lower cost. There's also life path models based on your birth date, retirement date. So you can truly invest it and forget it. So for the automatic enrollment, if you don't choose to go in and select your investment style, maybe you're just not sure what you should be investing in, then it's going to go ahead and put you in a life path model that correlates to your birth date and your projected retirement date. And it's going to naturally fit um, if you should be more aggressive because you're younger or if you should be more conservative as you get older and closer to that retirement date. Also with Empower, we believe that the school district's gonna receive better service. Amy, would you mind going back to the previous slide for just a minute? Sure. When you were talking about rollovers. We get, most, we get a lot of questions from our employees um, who are coming from different school systems. Can you talk a little bit more about the rollovers? Sure. It's basically um, a pretty easy process. Um, at the, towards the end of the slide, I'm going to give you information for Empower, and you would contact them directly, and they would walk you through um, what's needed as far as the paperwork to initiate that rollover. Um, typically, what happens if you're coming from <laughs> another school district, just to give everyone a heads up, um, you're going to have to have that form signed by that school district you're coming from in order for them to release the funds from their plan. Um, so it does take a few days um, to get it done, but it's a fairly easy process to do. And if, if, if you've ever got anybody that wants to talk through that, I'm happy to do that. I can't do the forms for them, but I can give them some advice on, you know, hey, here's, here's your options, right? So whenever you, whenever you transfer districts, you basically have three options to do with your previous plan. You can leave it like you are, you are not required to roll it or move it. You can leave it there as long as that school district's still functioning. Um, or you, most people want to roll it into the new plan because that way they consolidate everything. It's all in one place and you don't end up, you know, let's say you, you know, end up teaching at three different districts over your career. You don't retire and have money at three different places and, you know, not really know exactly what you got. Um, and then there's also an option to, you know, move it into an individual retirement account if, if for some reason you wanted to start setting up a personal, you know, retirement thing, you know, like with, with us or with somebody else. So I'm happy to have that conversation with anybody that's confused or not sure what the best option for them is, um, you know, based on whatever their individual situation is. So can someone who started off, let's say someone like uh, example would be myself even. Um, we got, I have an account with another school system. It's actually a, a 403B. Uh, the account that I have here is a 457. Can you roll over the 403 into the 457 or do you have to roll it over 
just into another 403B? 403B. Okay. You know, the other great point um, about having access to Toby is uh, you want to make sure whatever funds you're rolling over that there's no like surrender charges um, involved. So the great thing about consulting with Toby and our team first is they can really help make sure that that's the best decision for you to do right now. It may be better for an employee to leave those assets um, where they're at for a little while until the surrender charge has gone down if there is one associated with the plan. So those are the things that we can help dig deeper into to find out for the employee. Yeah. Um, a that's, lot that, 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 that's a great point. I mean, that's another great thing about like this new Empower plan. There's never any surrender charges or so. So that would never affect anybody going into your plan because it's the way it's set up with the low cost mutual funds and stuff that Amy, you know, covered on the, I think whatever, whichever, the previous or the next slide, whichever one it was, um, that's another big advantage of, of the way you're doing things. So you don't have to worry about any of that surrender stuff or not being able to move money when you want to. Um, so a lot, a lot of those conversations, like if, if um, someone's trying to roll over their plan and they're having, you know, trouble getting the information, then we can conference in with them and be on the line with them when they're calling their previous provider with the previous school system. Make sure they are asking all the right questions. Make sure um, that they understand all the paperwork that they need to get and then kind of hold their hand through that process. Does that answer all of your questions? Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so everyone, the, the biggest question I'm sure is, how do I access this new Empower account, right? So I'm sure that's what um, you guys are getting inundated with, everyone asking. So um, this is how you're going to log in and you're going to access your account. If you have any problems with it, um, or if you wanna call in instead, the 1-800 number is listed here as well. But basically you're going to log on to my I'm sorry, into empowerretirement.com. And you're gonna select the register tab and then you're gonna follow the prompts to create your username and password. It's gonna be really important that when they ask for a pin that you choose the I do not have a pin tab. Representatives are available weekdays 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time and Saturdays 9 to 5.30. Um, and you can reach them at 1-800-701-8255. We're going to be sending a little help sheet out to all the employees that will have exactly how to access this as well as the Empower Retirement mobile app. Again, just um, a little bit about Arista. We highly value the teacher workforce. We love nothing more than working with schools. That's primarily all I work with. Um, Toby um, assists me with the financial planning on the school side. Um, you have access to us. Um, this is our phone number, 1-877-434-7786. If an employee wants to speak to Toby and have some financial planning help, they would um, just listen for the prompt for financial planning and press that. If they need to talk to one of my team members, to get help with a rollover or any type of forms regarding the retirement account, they can just stay on that line and somebody will help them directly. You can also email us at first at aristacg.com. Okay, I know we went through a lot. Do you guys have any, have any specific questions? Just to um, kind of let you know, the employees are gonna receive a text message that's going to give them a couple of links. One of the links is going to be to a shorter video than what I just did um, that gives them all the important information about the plan. The other link is going to be um, to a flyer that walks them through how to log on to their account. And then the second text message that they're going to receive is going to be a link to the video again, and then it's go there's going to be a link to Arista's flyer that lets them know how to get in touch with Toby. 
And on that flyer is actually an interactive calendar link that they can click on to schedule a 25, 30 minute virtual meeting with Toby directly. And that, just so y'all know, that, that meeting can be to cover any questions they have, you know, related to anything with their finances, not just the, the retirement plan. If they've got old plans or they've got other money or they don't know how to do a budget or, you know, anything that, that they would, you know, want to, you know, kind of review as it relates to their, their entire, you know, financial picture, um, that's, that's what we're here, to, we're here to help with. I don't think we have it. Do you have any other questions you can think of as far as with the education part for the employees? I think that covered it. No, it's really good. That's great. Is there are the fees, I'm sorry. You're fine. Are the fees, are they available on the empowermyretirement.com website? Can I look at all the fees and everything? Yes. 